I don't know how relevant this is, but I had a vision. Uh, I think it would call it a vision. I don't know what to call it exactly, but I had a uh, interpretation when I was looking up at the at the uh, I'm dropping that uh, video on my face there. I was looking up at space and visualizing the Earth's magnetic field kind of around me and around the Earth. And I dropped the field for a moment, kind of let it just pretended, you know, visualized like it went away, and I felt this urge, this impulse, this dark wolf man, basically, this wolf creature from out in space sensed me and wanted to eat me. Like, it was like, it saw me and wanted me, wanted to consume me. It was terrifying. And I didn't want to even conceive that something like that existed before that happened. So it was like, and I was just thinking, maybe I was just making it up or interpreting something else as uh, something wanting to eat me because that's what the stories I've read like Little Red Robin, Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf but it's also possible that like wolf creatures consume doses of psychedelics over millennia and develop high levels of intelligence and bears like there could be bear bears that just consumed so much psychedelic mushrooms that they started to understand more and listen to each other and develop language more and that they dominated a planet. It's very like, uh, likely, I would say. I, I was going to say likely, but it's it's very likely in the infinite universe, I would say, that other races than monkeys have developed high levels of intelligence through psychedelics. So, so it's terrifying. So make what you want of it, but it's a reason to like not be an idiot as a species, like be unified, come together and be prepared for other species that have already done that. We have to be at our A game. We have to be our best. We have to play our A game as a species. We must 